our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk a little about seed traits. This is something we get lots of questions about from non-farmers. So Darren, where do you start when a non-farmer asks you about seed traits? Are you concerned about these? What are they exactly? Well, it starts off uh, this way usually. They either will, will call them GMOs or they'll call them biotech traits. And, and I find it interesting when somebody says GMOs and I wanna know about the GMOs, I'm concerned about the GMOs, it's generally coming at it from a negative perspective of, I've heard bad things, uh, why don't you tell me what your view of this is? Versus, hey, let's talk about biotech traits. It's more of that technology-friendly person that, that's saying, you know what? Hey, this is probably a good thing here. Let's talk about it. I want to know more about this. All right, let me just give you a real specific example here. Let's take corn and the very first seed trait that was in corn. It was for controlling European corn borer. European corn borer had been an awful problem for decades for corn farmers around the United States and really around the world. So what farmers would do is they would go out and spray pesticides once or twice in the summer to try to control these corn borers and control was kind of sketchy. Plus it was expensive to do this and in some cases they had to use pretty harmful pesticides. Some of which are now banned, not even used in the United States today, thanks to the introduction of BT corn. With that BT, what it was is basically a protein. That's it. A protein that humans can digest just fine, livestock can digest just fine, but this certain insect couldn't digest that specific protein. Here's the other interesting thing about this. Organic farmers use this exact same protein that's put in that, that BT, that exact same type of protein, is used in the product called Dipel. It's been used for decades by organic growers. So why is it okay for the organic farmer to spray the dipel over the top, but it's not okay for a farmer to have that in his BT, it's in the corn. Same difference, it's the same stuff, working on the bug the same way. So why is that a problem? I don't understand. I think part of the acceptance of seed traits uh, has come from the fact that it looks like the farmer's getting such a benefit out of it and maybe not so much of a benefit for the consumer. You know, honestly, the environment is getting a pretty good amount of the benefit too. Some of the really harmful products that used to get used, they've been able to take those off the market. We've replaced them with much safer seed traits, things that are natural, like this natural protein that can control a bug. There are also a lot of different technologies that are used around the world that are improvements for human health, for different health aspects, instead of just, oh, now I can spray Roundup on there. So you maybe have heard of the new Roundup Ready to Extend trait. Now a farmer can spray dicamba over the top of his soybeans to control his weeds. Okay, that's great for me as the farmer, but the other side of this is, Anything that the farmer can do that is great for himself, it means more crop production typically. And if there's more crop production, that's more food for our growing world. That's a good thing. We, we look at it from the United States perspective, but let's think about other countries around the world. Uh, there are traits being used in third world countries where, let's face it, the farmers don't have the technology and the equipment that we've got here in the United States, and they don't have any way to stop bugs out in their fields. So it's allowing crop production in areas that it's been a challenge historically, and that is feeding more people around the globe. All right, so if you're a non-farmer, we just want to hopefully uh, address your concerns at least a little bit about some of these seed traits. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying, oh, every seed trait that's ever gonna come in the history of mankind is always gonna be perfectly safe to everybody. But all we can tell you is, these seed traits that are out in the market today have had just a tremendous amount of testing. They're used around the world in many cases, and we are seeing great benefits on the farm, and in many cases, too, great benefits for human health. Seed traits are certainly an interesting topic, and so is controlling our weed of the week. Can you identify this week's weed? 